There are a lot of things to love about owning an EV, such as the powerful, torquey motors. My favorite part, however, is laughing at regular drivers as they pay $6 a gallon for gasoline. However, there is one aspect of owning an EV I dislike, which brings us to today's video. Today, I'm going to talk about the biggest problem with owning an EV, which revolves around charging. And I'm going to go through the three ways I have dealt with charging dealing with my Tesla over the past two years of ownership. So when I first got my Tesla, it came with the free mobile charger, which enables the vehicle to charge at one kilowatt an hour. However, that can take up to one to two days to charge your car. This is a great feature for people who are just now adopting EVs, who might not necessarily already have a home wall connector installed. And it's also convenient for people who are also traveling to Airbnbs or family relatives homes who may also not have a level two charger installed. So this is a very convenient thing to own. However, it's not something you can rely on on a daily basis to go on your daily commutes because it is quite slow. Like I said, it could take up to two days to get 100% charge on this thing. So I quickly needed to figure out a new solution to charge my vehicle. I've moved on from the mobile connector to a destination charger. These things are really great because they're scattered all around my neighborhood. They charge at 10 kilowatts, which makes the charging time of my car be only six to seven hours versus the mobile connector, which took sometimes one to two days. However, the drawbacks of using this destination charger is that I have to drive my bike two miles every time I want to use it or bug one of my friends to give me a ride to get to the charger. So after about a year, this got a little annoying. So I moved on to a level two charger in my garage. This brings us to the Autel Maxi Charger. Full disclosure, Autel did send this unit to me for free. However, I very much do like it and thought I'd make a dedicated video about it. This enables me to do level two charging like at the destination charger I typically would go to. However, being able to do it at the convenience of my own home in my garage with many more features than the Tesla wall charger for just slightly more cost. First off, it has a very nice sleek design. It has a sealed enclosure that's completely waterproof and approved for outdoor usage. It has a nice 25 foot cable that's about 18 millimeters in diameter and it costs $100 more than Tesla's charger and I think it's worth that money for the following reasons. First off, it looks very good. It's a nice size, it's sleek, and it mounts well to the wall. They included a nice little dock for it that actually swivels to allow the charger to hang down and then it automatically pops back up whenever you unplug it. So it's easy to connect it to the dock. In addition to the box's sleep design, it has a really nice J1772 connector on it, so it's compatible with most EVs and not just the Tesla. This would be super useful if you have a Tesla but your friends come over and want to charge their other EVs using the J1772 connector. It feels much nicer than most public chargers. The cable is very thick and strong, which gives it a very nice user experience. Some of the features of the Autel Maxi charger include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and an RFID scanner, which is really great for a semi-public place, such as an apartment complex. This allows you to set your charger to only charge after you tap your card. This prevents anyone else from using your charger without having to use any sort of physical lock. This charger is a 40 amp unit, but it allows you to adjust the amperage via the app anywhere from 18 miles an hour of charging up to 38 miles per hour of charging. In our case, we've limited it to 30 amps due to limitations in our circuit. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. We thought we'd talk about the EV charging because with anything EV related, we gotta talk about charging. We've been talking with lots of brands and we've been traveling all across the country, meeting with reps and trying out and reviewing their vehicles. And we're really excited for the brands that we're gonna showcase on our channel later this year. So thank you so much for your patience. And if you're new here, do feel free to like and subscribe.